I chose the Zulu Girl as my favourite poem I've studied this year because it was one of the more controversial poems, but its message is still quite relevant today. I found it a very simple but very powerful poem at the same time, and it, the poem had a regular rhythm which I found easier to read and understand. And although it can be seen as a derogatory poem, it can also be seen as an empowering poem. The first stanza describes the setting of the poem, and we get a idea of the harsh conditions the mother and the child are in. In the first line, there's alliteration in the two words, sun and smolder, which create a sizzling sound, which would indicate heat and discomfort. The second line, the word gang, is a very collective term, so it does not indicate individualism. And in the third line, a girl flings her home, would indicate that she is not there willingly. This second stanza, we see the mother, she, instead of tending to the ground, she tends to a child. And the, the word shadow in line 5 contrasts to the harsh sun. She rests by a thorn tree in the shadows, and in line 7, she grooms her child with sharp nails, yet she slowly caresses. So, although she's described as animalistic, we can see that she's very motherly and caring. Again, in line 8 with Prowl, uh, described as animalistic, but we can see that she is she would be a threat to any danger to a child. In stanza three, the relationship between the mother and child can create an image um, by, like the mother and child being dogs, but there's a, a positive meaning to what could be seen as derogatory. In line ten, tugs like a puppy. And grunts. So again, compared to an animal, but a puppy is a young animal that grows into a bigger, stronger one. Line 11, her own deep langours. She passes her deep emotions into the child. And the personification in line 12, the river of milk, sighs with exhaustion out of the mother's body. Senza 4, creates a sense of something ominous and the uh, yet in line 13 indicates that there's a focus a change in focus the stream of milk is streaming of emotions in line 14 unquenched the baby is still unsatisfied which gives us a sense of undying passion and curbed ferocity of beaten tribes so we see the Zulu people were fierce warriors, and although sullen dignity in line 16 it would mean they lost the war, they're so uh, very strong people. Senza 5, the mother metaphorically becomes a hill, and the simile in line 17 would indicate the mother as providing protection like a hill. Line 18, there's a metaphor where the baby represents the Zulu people that are regaining their strength, and Africa can be seen as a mother caring for her children. Line 19, the first cloud indicates a brewing storm, and in line 20, the coming harvest can be seen as the people taking their power back and that the people will, in the end, succeed. And it also represents freedom and the end of apartheid. I like the poem because it took a really simple description of a Zulu mother and a child, and gave the message that although the British defeated the Zulu, and the Zulu were defeated technologically, the Zulu still have an unmatchable 
sense of uh, pride and spirit in them that in the end could lead to a revolution, which it did uh, with the end of apartheid.